Oh, cupcake. Is there something you want to tell me? What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, I'm Jason Alexander. Super stoked to have you here. But not too long ago, one of the anabolic gods dropped a massive bomb book on the anabolic world. Now, version one changed the way that we viewed French toast and protein ice creams. Version two, I can't think of a better way to dive into this than doing a full day of just straight num 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 num. Let's go. Now to kick things off, we're gonna dig our teeth into something new. We've tried a bunch of different anabolic French toast recipes and while they've been absolutely great, and this anabolic cookbook does a great job of giving you a bunch of different variations, I figured it's time for a change. So we're gonna dig our teeth into an all-American treat and no better way to do that than to dive into an anabolic apple pie bake. Now the question is, do I have Granny Smith apples? All right, guys, we got a few items to snag, but it's the beginning of the new year. What are your goals? What are your aspirations that you're looking to just absolutely freaking crush this new year? Go. I gotta find myself some green apples. Now, if you guys didn't know, but Granny Smith apples are one of the healthiest just because they're super low in sugars and have the perfect amount of tartness. I don't know about you, but I love anything green apple. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap up here, but we've got the goods. Gotta love yourself a great Granny Smith apple. Now, guys, we've got all the ingredients here, we're gonna go ahead and use ourselves some regular ass bread. Now, hold up, I know we're in Texas, and boys, I know we like them thick, but we're gonna go ahead and save ourselves a few additional calories by using some regular ass bread. We've got our cinnamon, and you guys know I love my cinnamon, so we're gonna definitely spank it pretty good. And at the same time, gotta level up our protein. So we got our egg whites, but otherwise, we're gonna go ahead and whip this up, and I'll see you in a minute. I think I might have put in a little too much cinnamon. Now before we dig into this guys, you should know that the cookbook is packed with recipes and I mean tons more in comparison to version one. Now, not too long ago, actually Greg Doucette within his communities had actually posted up a question to see if whether or not folks would be interested in submitting recipes. And to be honest, I was actually pretty intrigued by that. So I signed up for his newsletter and lo and behold, it turns out that there were a lot of people who had actually submitted recipes. And we're fortunate enough that one of those people happens to be Iron Musket. So you can definitely expect a number of different recipes by Iron Musket when it comes to the anabolic ice cream. And on top of that, guys, as of this morning, I got an email update in regards to two recipes being updated within the cookbook, their lasagna and also the Coach Greg's Blondies. So it's real nice to see that these updates are being made on a weekly basis and given to us as soon as they make those updates. But Let's go ahead and take a look at this apple pie bake. Now, this is a quarter portion of the half portion that I actually made based off the recipe. I'll go ahead and put the macros and total calories up on the screen now. But this thing is like the size of my head. So this is just a quarter portion. And I don't know, guys, this is smelling ridiculous. There's a ton of volume, as you can see. And on top of that, I feel like we need to add a little bit of ketchup. I don't know, gotta add a little bit of sauce. It's breakfast, but in my mind, it's totally tricking myself out because it kind of feels like dessert. All right, cheers, boys. That's not half bad, guys. Okay, so immediate thoughts, is it dessert or is it breakfast? Or maybe both, but that's beside the case. Look, the biggest thing that I really take away from here is the amount of volume that you get with the food. I immediately am thinking I'm taking down so many calories, but I have to reel myself back in and it's a bunch of egg whites, some apples and some toast. And here's the thing guys, in terms of overall flavor, there's a pretty even keel. There's a nice balance of sweetness and there's definitely room for a lot more sweetener if you've got the craving for it. But for me, the balance of the sweetener that's added along with the apples, 
just hits it on par. And at the same component, in terms of overall texture, great balance between soft pillowiness from the egg whites and also the apples. It's a very interesting texture, but at the same component, I don't mind it because this is still pretty delicious. I don't know guys, this is pretty damn good. I'm kind of itching for another slice. All right guys, first workout of the year. So it's really been about three weeks since I've actually hit the gym and got a solid barbell workout in. But we're gonna see where my maxes are at for the bench, squat, and deadlift. I don't know about in that particular order, but I figure it'll give me a good baseline for the rest of this year. I'm really trying to hit a 450 for my deadlift, so we'll see, but let's get into it. Feeling pretty good, we're gonna keep going. All right, that was definitely a little bit of a grinder, so I think I'm gonna stop there. 365, so I'll take it. Three weeks off the gym. Now, I think the last time that I actually hit 225 was maybe about a year ago, if not longer. So I'm feeling pretty good. We'll see how this rolls up. But let's freaking go. Ooh, I know that was ugly. Yeah, that was a little bit of a close one. I should have had a spot with me, but 225, we're gonna cap that off. Definitely feeling a little tax here, but we've got 285 on the bar. This is actually the first time I've actually tested all three lifts in the same day. It's only been, it's only been about an hour. So I don't know if I might've spaced things out a little better, I probably would be able to recover a little faster, but we've got 285, I think on the bar. And then we're just gonna keep going, see what my one rep at max is. All right guys, this is gonna be the last set, 315. I'll be happy if I hit this. Um, to be honest, I'm super taxed from the bench and the deadlift, but let's see. That was pretty ugly. I don't know if I hit parallel on that. I'm gonna take it anyway. So 315 for squat. That's gonna cap out the maxes, but I've worked up an appetite. Let's go.
Well, that was a pretty solid workout, guys. And considering it's been about three weeks or so since I've actually pushed around some weights, feeling pretty good. But, you know, I'm still reminiscing breakfast. And so we've got ourselves two different recipes. We've got the triple decker grilled egg and cheese French toast alongside smoked salmon pinwheels. These are looking freaking gorgeous. But I've got two servings here. And honestly, I can never pass up a good smoked salmon. But here is the triple decker grilled egg and cheese French toast. I mean, there is some absolute girth. But these are looking mighty fine. So let's go ahead and dig into this. Cheers, boys. I gotta go on for another. All right, let's dive into the triple decker grilled egg and cheese French toast. I mean, take a look at how massive that is. Oh, wow. Like it blows my mind just seeing how some of these recipes are just so super simple, but the way that they're actually formulated and created kind of changes the way that you actually perceive them. I mean, it's technically a French toast, but at the same time, it's a hot sandwich. Guys, it's been a packed day with some awesome meals, but you guys know when it comes to gains, I love my pizza gains. So we're gonna take on a cauliflower pizza and we've got all the fixings here and I've been meaning to learn how to make some cauliflower dough. But before we get into this, I've got, you know, it's January, it's still the holidays in my eyes. And so I've actually whipped up the holiday protein bar. So we're gonna let this hang out in the North Pole for a few minutes while we start prepping up the cauliflower pizza. So we've got ourselves self-rising flour, and guys, there is a difference, self-rising flour versus your regular unbleached flour. Now with that, we've got our yogurt, we've got some xanthan gum, and then we've also got, I think it's 700 grams worth of cauliflower rice with our egg whites. So let's go ahead and mix this up, get our pizza gains on. All right, take a look at this epic pizza. So we've got two servings of the cauliflower rice pizza crust and then topped off with some fat-free mozz and turkey pepperonis along with some mushrooms. But this is looking pretty epic and I'm dying to dive into this. Take a look at that. Not too bad, not too bad. I probably could have left it in the oven for a little longer, but let's dive in. It's not half bad, guys. Less talking, more eating. All right, that pizza was pretty epic. The crust definitely could have been left in the oven for a few minutes to firm up a bit, but we're gonna go ahead and dive into the last recipe of the day. Holiday chocolate protein bar. We've got the holiday chocolate protein bar. So it might be the IMO syrup that I'm using, but it is a little floppy. Let's try this out. That is not bad, guys. This is getting all over my hands though. <laughs> so my fault for not using wax paper, but I will say this tastes freaking delicious. I was anticipating a little bit of graininess, but yeah, definitely not. Well guys, that wraps up an epic day with some epic meals and cookbook goes harder than last time. That is 100% for sure. But now here's the thing, you know, is the cookbook worth $150? I don't know if I can answer that one for you guys. To be honest, here's something that I've learned throughout the day. Time is the truest currency. And if this cookbook, by getting it, is gonna help you be way more efficient or help carve a path for you to be able to focus on the things that really matter the most in your life or your day to day, you've got your answer right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave you with that, but I appreciate you guys tuning in to another video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. If you enjoyed watching an epic day with some epic eats, give this video a big fat thumbs up. But otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.